You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about our old dude, Kobe Covington, because Covington has come out, UFC fighter, not a big fan of LeBron James. We're not big fans of LeBron James. Uh, so he has come out, and he's made some more comments about LaChina James, and we're going to talk about that. As we know, Kobe is um, not a big fan of LeBron. I don't imagine Dana White is a big fan. And uh, Jorge Masvidal, probably not a big fan of LeBron. Uh, you see all three entities, part of the UFC, are not big fans of communist China. We know LeBron, LaChina, LaWoke, LaBronda, LaFraud, loves to wrap his loving arms around communist China. Recently, he went over there. He skipped the Olympics, thank God. He's, <laughs> he went over there, and uh, he was trying to promote Space Jam 2, the search for Chinese dollars. And guess what? He came away with a big goose egg. That's right. They decided they would not allow Space Jam 2, which I heard was a massive advertisement for Warner Brothers products. I heard that Space Jam 2 would not be accepted over in China on a theatrical release. Oh, that's poetic justice, and it's awesome. Very quickly, I am, in fact, wearing our China James shirt. How about that? The one in red, the very one on the screen. You can grab it out of the merch store. Use promo code LAWOKE SUCKS. S U X, all one word. LAWOKE SUCKS will get you 25% off this shirt or any other shirt in the merch store. Let's get to this article. LeBron James is a Chinese puppet master for employing women in sweatshops. Kobe Covington goes after the Lakers MVP by doubling down following spineless coward comments. That's right. Kobe hit him with a spineless coward comment last year and uh, I believe told LeBron he would break him in half or something like that inside of 10 seconds. Kobe Covington goes after LeBron once more as he calls out Nike sweatshops shops in China and claims LeBron does not stand for equality. And let's see if we can skip a lot of the nonsense. MMA fighter Kobe Covington has put James between the crosshairs on numerous occasions. Last year, around the Western Conference Finals against the Nuggets, Covington called LeBron a spineless coward and took to Twitter to say he wouldn't last but a few seconds in the octagon with him. Laugh out loud at snowflakes that believe at King James could even last 10 seconds with me. If that coward had any balls or the ability to kick anyone's ass, Delonte West would have lost his, lost his teeth long before his meth habit. Wow. He went all in on LeBron and Delonte West. And in, guys, in case you don't know, He's referring to the fact that LeBron's mother once had a bit of a relationship with Delonte West. That's right. The, she was riding that baloney pony. And if I remember correctly, remember all the drama surrounding uh, the Cavaliers and the Spurs in the finals that time? Way back when? Well, it's because behind the scenes, Delonte West had a relationship with LeBron James's mother. LeBron James gets called out by Kobe Covington for not standing up for women's equality. Covington has picked up right where he left off back in September 2020 as he once again calls out LeBron for not sticking to the morals he preaches. Oh, LeBron will run his mouth about everything on the planet except China. This time around, he claims that James is not doing anything about the women workers in Chinese sweatshops for Nike. Quote, he's a big hypocrite. He talks about his two biggest things he loves, equality and justice. He talks about some mysterious oppression that nobody knows what he's talking about. You want to see oppression? Go over there and live like those people in China, LeBron. Don't just visit it while you're trying 
to promote your movie. Where's the equality in employing women in Chinese sweatshops to make your merchandise for millions and millions of dollars while they're making pennies? Where's the justice in critiquing the greatest, the greatest country on God's green earth, America, but not talking about Hong Kong, not talking about the Uyghurs in China? He stays silent on everything in China because he's a Chinese puppet master. When Covington called LeBron James last year, called him out last year, the king actually responded. He said anybody can talk from outside, but they've got to get into the ring or get into the arena. Probably 10 times out of 10, they'd shit their pants. LeBron, you must be kidding. Kobe would wreck that ass. And look, LeBron James is a phenomenal athlete. But is he a trained, skill fighter? No. No. And you'll get these LeBron shields come through here. LeBron 6'8", and he's 268. Yeah, have you ever seen a skilled fighter? I've seen guys 180 take out guys 270. Why? Because they were either MMA fighters or Golden Glove boxers. They ate those big guys for breakfast. Stop it. Stop it. LeBron wouldn't have a chance against a world-class trained UFC fighter like Kobe. That is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen or heard in my life. And Kobe is right. Kobe keeps calling out LaChina for the same things we've called him out on. He will run his mouth about everything. Guys, LeBron has a checklist of crap that he has done over the last... 18 months or so he will run his mouth about the police he will run his mouth about 45 you know the president he will run his mouth about police brutality and oppression and all this funny a guy that's worth a billion dollars is running his mouth about black people being oppressed in this country stop that nonsense and that's part of the problem he won't stop his nonsense and he won't keep his mouth shut. And he keeps running his mouth. And as long as he does, Kobe, us, a lot of people are going to keep calling him out. We are. We are. Just like Alex Villanueva called him out last year over his L.A. County deputies. Man, we're so tired of this dude. We are. He's wrecked the NBA. The NBA ratings are trash. The league is trashed. And it will never recover. Until some of those athletes in the NBA will stand up and say, enough, I'm not wearing apparel from China, uh, enough, I, I don't resonate with a lot of the players and their woke ideals. Occasionally, you see some guys pop up out of football and some of these other sports, but nobody's willing to stand up in basketball in the NBA you know, it'd be nice to see a pro-America, pro-American USA NBA player step up and actually say something, actually stand up against China. Daryl Morey tried, in the league, tried to cancel him, including LeBron James. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Good. Keep calling them out, Kobe. Keep calling them out. We'll keep covering it. My God. Somebody's got to hold this dude accountable. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.